This world seems very screwed up. The news is full of people who are doing illegal things and seem to feel no remorse. Doesn't anyone know the difference between right and wrong anymore? Some of those people didn't do anything wrong and shouldn't feel remorse. In those cases, those who arrested them are the ones on the wrong side. Isn't it wrong to break the law? How else would you know what you did was wrong? It is bad to do the wrong thing, is it not? Or is it all relative? Right and wrong are universal, not relative. Most laws today are wrong, they are counterfeit laws, and there is no shame in breaking them. Most people agree that doing the right thing is good and doing the wrong thing is bad. But not everyone seems to know how to tell the difference. Sometimes it does seem that way. How do you propose to tell the difference? Who decides? It is easy. It is wrong to harm those who do not deserve to be harmed right now. These people are the innocent. There are no excuses that can change this. Beliefs, circumstances, opinions, laws, religious ideas, none of those things matter. Nothing can change a wrong act into a right one. Neither does a majority vote make a wrong act right. Most things are not subject to a vote. Is it more important to do the right thing? Or to not do the wrong thing? Is there a difference? Avoiding doing the wrong thing is probably even more important than doing the right thing. It is never the right thing to cause harm, meaning economic or physical damage, to someone who is not harming you. Put another way, it is never the right thing to attack someone, it is never the right thing to steal, it is never the right thing to deceive someone who is not harming or threatening you. This fact doesn't change just because someone passed a law or because someone in authority tells you different either. Okay, so those things are wrong. But how do you know what is the right thing to do? Not doing the wrong thing usually results in doing the right thing. You can go a little farther too. It is the right thing to take responsibility for your actions and deal with the consequences that result. This means looking out for your own interests, but not at the expense of doing the wrong thing to others. After all, if you don't look out for yourself and your family, who will? The responsibility can fall on no one else. Your interests do not conflict with the genuine interests of others. It is right to protect your interests from all those who seek to violate them through aggression, theft, and fraud. What if someone offends you? In many cases, doing the right thing means you must learn to mind your own business and deal with being offended by the consensual behavior of those around you. It doesn't mean you have to like it or refrain from expressing your opinion, it just means you have no right to meddle or support laws that meddle in the lives of others. It means that you need to recognize that not everyone subscribes to the same beliefs that motivate you, and as long as they are not attacking, stealing, or defrauding anyone you need to leave them alone. After all, even you do things that offend someone. What if a friend is doing something that really offends you, but isn't hurting anyone else? Beyond the actual wrongs, there will always be petty disagreements about this or that. Most of these things are not a matter of right or wrong, but are matters of opinion or of values. If you don't like something, don't participate. If a friend insists on doing something you can't tolerate and won't change to suit you, find a different friend. Don't cross the line by trying to force the friend to do as you wish. But what about people who don't seem to understand the difference between right and wrong? Everyone who hasn't been damaged mentally understands the difference between right and wrong. Even if they don't understand, they are still subject to self-defensive actions by those they violate. Sometimes people try to pretend they don't understand right and wrong in order to feel better about themselves while doing the wrong thing. Those in government jobs are frequent sufferers of this problem. Don't try to fool yourself this way. Libertarianism, anarchism, or whatever you want to call the philosophy of liberty, flows logically from the acceptance of this simple understanding of the differences between right and wrong. It really isn't that difficult to understand, unless you try really hard to miss the point. If that is the case, you might want to ask yourself why you are doing that. Why are you trying to mistake evil for good? I don't think I'll have that problem anymore now that you have explained it so clearly. I know you won't. I'll be here for you to talk it over with, if old temptations to think of right and wrong as relative, rather than universal, crop up again. <laughs>